As soon as you're in the Sea Org, you're literally looked at like you're scum of the earth. Exactly. They put out this thing that they're elite and putting in ethics into mankind and that they're superior and elite, but inside, yeah. it's dog eat dog. Exactly. Right? And it's interesting that the people that actually put their entire life for this and they are treated this way. Right. It totally doesn't make sense. You work 80 hours a week. Well, and more than 90 actually. 90 hours a week. Yeah. And for all these years, you were in 18 years, your pay was $50 a week. It just changed in the last year or two, but it's $50 yes. a week. It just was just a pressure cooker grind on a daily basis. And it turned the staff into telemarketers, dialing for dollars, um, just not a spiritual place to be. There was a time where I w went down stairs to where the staff were supposed to get comforted and helped, and I went to the person in charge of that area, and I said, this doesn't seem like a religion to me. I'm not feeling spiritual here for about 16 18 years of your seal. that's right did you get the full 50 well taxes come out so I actually after taxes it was like 43 something right I heard that one of the instant punishments if you see ethics is you can't go to the canteen your canteen right. privileges are cancelled yeah well, th this is actually something, like you, you said that the culture didn't change, I would say it actually got worse. Mm. Because uh, when I joined, this uh, canteen cancellation, it didn't exist, it was uh, put in later on. Oh no, on, on the Apollo, we didn't have ever have canteen privileges cancelled, mm. we never had that. And one thing on the Apollo was, you were guaranteed a day off every two weeks. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and now, are you guaranteed it? No. I actually had one of the uh, staff members, because I, I worked in a place where I had access to, to documents that were written by the founder, and she actually asked me to collect all the different uh, writings that, sh that say that you're supposed to have a day off every two weeks. Yeah. And I, I collected it out, and it was like about an inch thick. Of Hubbard saying you yes, should get a exactly. day off. And, but now, and that was overridden by yeah. the smart people who make local policies. Right. Well, David Miscavige has a lot to do with it. it. All this stuff trickles down from when you are in command of an organization. If something goes wrong on an army base, the first question asked is who is the commander in charge? Yeah, that's true. I don't think these these little lower level fish management of FSO and FLB, they just take the heat because Miscavige doesn't like to say it's his order. Is that it's only true if it is true for you.
things weren't doing well, then we have 15 minutes meal breaks. Okay, let's define things not doing well. In Scientology, things not doing well means revenue is down. Cash! Exactly. Not making enough cash. Exactly. Not a generality of things. They could care less about things. How many lightning, how many lightning storms occur. None of this matters. What matters is how much cash did we extort from the hapless victims? Do That's you agree? Right. Yes. Do you agree? Yeah. Cash is king. Yeah, cash is king. <laughs> And if the cash is down, and actually, the way Scientology treats everyone is a blob. Can you explain? Well, basically, if you are a person, then uh, you're not going to have any kind of rights. Like, uh, you're just supposed to do what you are told. And if you, if you have any kind of, they, they call it a disagreement, then you get sent to ethics. What does this mean, sent to ethics? A global audience wouldn't know what that means. Well, that means that you, you get disciplined, you have uh, uh, privileges, pri privileges suspended and get uh, punishments. Like, like, uh, like there were times when we were not allowed to go out to the local stores and actually the, the mayor actually called uh, David Miscavige and uh, 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 was asking what was happening that the staff are not coming to the stores and they were upset about it because uh, it's uh, it's revenue for them also so these these kind of punishments don't only affect the the seer members it actually affects the community right. but that was a regular thing that uh, if if somebody was in uh, trouble then we, they couldn't go to the local stores they couldn't go to the canteen uh, they had to put in extra time to make up the damage that they caused, for example. Like, how do you have extra time when you work 90 hours a week? Well, from sleep your time? sleep time, yeah. Oh, sleep, so sleep deprivation. Yeah. So, center ethics could very well include sleep deprivation. Exactly. So, the mayor of Clearwater actually had to call Miscavige. Yes. Because all the stores were so empty. Sea Org members could not go buy a toothbrush. Could not buy toothpaste, could not buy underarm deodorant. This is not supplied by the Sea Org, is it? Well, in, in the canteens, it's supplied, but if they can't go to the canteen either. <laughs> so your punishment is to give you less, less, less. Yeah. You see, the reason I'm discussing that uh, we still haven't cleared blob. Mm -hmm. Blob means when something is not looking good statistically, right. particularly money, everyone is punished. Exactly. doesn't matter how good you did individually. That's right. Blob means the whole 200 people in that area exactly. all get the same punishment, regardless of how good and productive you were. Now, that is Scientology. Now there's something that you're going to be surprised. There were times when actually what they did is that uh, they opened the canteen and you could, there was only water and toilet paper in it. That was the punishment. You could only buy water and toilet paper. Yes. Mm -hmm.